you are the nurse in a primary care clinic taking care of a patient with spastic bladder. Her physician prescribes oxybutynin for symptom relief. Which of the following best describes the mechanism of action of oxybutynin? A. Calcium channel blockade. B. Antagonism of M1, M2, and M3 muscarinic acetylcholine receptors. C. Direct thrombin inhibition. D. Beta adrenergic blockade. E. Alpha adrenergic blockade. The answer is B. Antagonism of M1, M2, and M3 muscarinic acetylcholine receptors. Oxybutynin reduces muscle spasms of the bladder and urinary tract. Oxybutynin is used to treat symptoms of overactive bladder, such as frequent or urgent urination, incontinence, urine leakage, and increased nighttime urination. In patients with spastic bladder, oxybutynin exhibits its anticholinergic effects most significantly on the smooth muscle of the bladder detrizor muscle, which helps to treat the patient's symptoms associated with spasm of the muscle which often manifests as urinary frequency or urgency, with or without urinary incontinence. What is the primary effect of botulism toxin? A. Ascending paralysis. B. Nausea and vomiting. C. Tonic paralysis. D. Flaccid paralysis. The answer is D. Flaccid paralysis. Botulism is a rare and potentially fatal illness caused by a toxin produced by the bacterium Clostridium botulinum. Botulism toxin inhibits acetylcholine release from the presynaptic nerve terminal, causing flaccid paralysis. Death in botulism exposure is generally due to respiratory failure. Tonic paralysis is the cause of respiratory arrest in other toxicity exposures, such as exposure to tetanus toxin. What organism causes Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever? A. Rickettsia Rickettsia B. Ehrlichia chaffensis C. Rickettsia helvetica D. Borrelia burgdorferi The answer is A. Rickettsia 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 rickettsii causes Rocky Mountain spotted fever, and is spread by dermacenter ticks. It causes fever, headache, muscle pain, and a rash. Doxycycline is the drug of choice for the treatment of Rocky Mountain spotted fever, including in children. The risk of dental staining in the treatment of Rocky Mountain spotted fever is very low, as dental staining is a cumulative dose effect, and treatment for Rocky Mountain spotted fever is typically 7 to 10 days. There is no vaccine against Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Prevention of infection requires careful attention to tick avoidance, including insect repellent, long clothing, and checking for ticks after any outdoor activities in endemic areas. Borrelia burgdorferi is associated with Lyme disease. Ehrlichia chaffensis is associated with human monocytotropic ehrlichiosis, and Rickettsia helvetica is associated, very rarely, with meningitis. What is the most common cause of infectious diarrhea in HIV-positive patients? A. Clostridium B. Campylobacter C. Salmonella D. Cryptosporidium The answer is D. Cryptosporidium while all of the listed organisms can cause diarrhea, cryptosporidium, a protozoa, is the most commonly isolated organism in HIV-positive patients presenting with diarrhea. What is the most common infection preceding the development of Guillain-Barre syndrome? A. 
Staphylococcus aureus. B. E. coli. C. Campylobacter dejuni. D. Salmonella. The answer is C. Campylobacter dejuni. 30% of cases of guillain bar are preceded by infection by Campylobacter dejuni. There is no known association between Staphylococcus aureus, Salmonella, or E. coli and guillain bar syndrome. All of the following are frequently implicated in epiglottitis except ASH. A. Campylobacter dejuni. B. Staphylococcus aureus. C. Streptococcus spp. D. H. Influenzae type B. The answer is A. Campylobacter dejuni. The most commonly implicated bacteria in epiglottitis are Haemophilus influenzae type B, Streptococcus species, and Staphylococcus aureus. Campylobacter dejuni is a common cause of food poisoning. Which agar would be the best choice option to identify as Cherokee coli? A. Selenium enriched media. B. EMB, and methylene blue. C. Nutrient agar. D. Phenethyl alcohol. The answer is B. EMB, eosin methylene blue, because it is selective and differential. Escherichia coli is a facultative, gram-negative, lactose-fermenting bacteria. EMB, eosin methylene blue, or MAC, McConkey, media is superior for isolating Escherichia coli because it is both selective and differential. Nutrient agar is neither selective nor differential. Selenium-enriched media would not help identify this bacteria because Escherichia coli does not require this supplemented media to grow. Phenethyl alcohol can be used to select for anaerobic bacteria, which is of no utility in this situation. Which of the following sexually transmitted infections is mismatched with its causative agent? A. Gonorrhea, Nsria gonorrhea. B. Syphilis, Troponema pallidum. C. Toxic shock syndrome, Staphylococcus aureus. D. Genital warts, herpes simplex virus. The answer is D. Genital warts, herpes simplex virus. Genital warts is caused by human papilloma virus. All other sexually transmitted infection is correctly matched with its causative agent. Which of the following organisms causes fever, headache, fatigue, myalgia, and buboes? A. Borrelia burgdorferi. B. Bacillus anthracis. C. Staphylococcus aureus. D. Yersinia pestis. The answer is D. Yersinia pestis. The question stem describes bubonic plague which is caused by Yersinia pestis. Staphylococcus aureus causes skin infections, toxic shock, and food poisoning. Bacillus anthracis causes anthrax, which is similar to plague but does not cause buboes. Borrelia burgdorferi causes Lyme disease, which presents as rash and arthralgia. E. coli, Escherichia coli, are primarily found in the colon of humans, but can also cause cystitis. Which of the following best explains why this occurs? A. E. coli are obligate robes. B. E. coli are microrophiles. C. E. coli are obligate anaerobes. D. E. coli are facultative anaerobes. The answer is D. 
E. coli are facultative anaerobes. The colon is anaerobic and the bladder is aerobic. This fact explains why E. coli normally lives in an anaerobic environment, but can also survive aerobically. Facultative anaerobes normally live in anaerobic conditions but can adapt to aerobic conditions. Microrephiles describes bacteria that are obligate robes, but are poisoned by high levels of oxygen and thus require specific oxygen levels to grow. 90% of all Proteus infections in human are caused by what organism? A. Proteus penari. B. Proteus mirabilis. C. Proteus vulgaris. D. Proteus myxofficiens. The answer is B. Proteus mirabilis. While Proteus pinarii and Proteus vulgaris do cause opportunistic infections in a small percentage of people, 90% of Proteus infections in humans are caused by Proteus mirabilis. Proteus myxofficiens is only found in insect hosts and does not infect humans. Proteus mirabilis is classified as which of the following? A. Gram positive, anaerobic, rod shaped. B. Gram positive, aerobic. Caucus. C. Gram negative, anaerobic, rod shaped. D. Gram negative, anaerobic, caucus. The answer is A. Gram negative, anaerobic, rod shaped. Proteus mirabilis is a gram negative, facultatively anaerobic, rod shaped, bacillus. Bacteria. It produces large amounts of the enzyme ureus, which is able to hydrolyze urea to ammonia, causing the distinctively high pH seen in the urine of individuals with a Proteus mirabilis infection. Which of the following bacteria is gram positive cocci that is found in clusters? A. Staphylococcus aureus. B. E. coli. C. Streptococcus pyogens. D. Pseudomonas. The answer is A. Staphylococcus aureus. Bacteria are classified as either gram positive or gram negative. Gram positive bacteria stain purple because of their thick peptidoglycan cell wall. Staph and strep groups are both gram positive. Bacteria can then be organized based on their shape. Cocci are circular while bacilli are rectangular in shape. Staph grows in clusters. If a colony of round or oval-shaped bacteria are arranged in a random grape-like cluster, they must be a. Streptococci b. Spirochetes c. Streptobacilli d. Staphylococci e. There is no way to predict based on the information provided. The answer is D. Staphylococci. The two most common bacterial arrangements are staph and strep. Staph is a non-symmetrical arrangement like a cluster of grapes. Strep indicates a chain of bacteria. The three most common bacterial shapes are listed below. Caucus, round or oval. Bacillus, rectangular or rod-shaped. Spirula, spirochet spiral. Which of the following correctly describes the classification of Bordetella pertussis? A. Gram-negative aerobic rod. B. Gram-negative anaerobic cocci. C. Gram-positive aerobic cocci. D. Gram positive anaerobic rod. The answer is A. Gram negative aerobic rod. Bordetella pertussis is a gram negative, rod shaped aerobe. It requires oxygen to function and commonly infects the respiratory tract of young children, causing whooping cough.
Which of the following describes the classification of Nsriya gonorrhea? E? A. Grand positive rod. B. Gram negative diplococcus. C. Gram negative rod. D. Gram positive diplococcus. The answer is B. Gram negative diplococcus. Nsriya gonorrhea e is a gram negative coccus bacterium that generally presents as a diplococcus in pairs of cocci. Vibrio cholerae is classified as what type of bacteria? A. Gram-positive facultative rods. B. Gram-negative cocci. C. Gram-negative facultative rods. D. Gram-positive cocci. The answer is C. Gram-negative facultative rods. Vibrio cholerae is classified as gram-negative facultative rods. This bacteria is the most well-known amongst the Vibrio species as it's the cause of cholera, which produces a toxin that causes very severe diarrhea. Any species of bacteria that feeds on dead matter is termed a dash. A. Halophile. B. Suprophyte. C. Arc bacteria. D. Thermophile. The answer is B. Saprophyte. Bacteria or any other microbes that feed on dead matter are termed saprophytes. Thermophilic microbes thrive in heated environments, halophiles such as Vibrio parahemolyticus prefer salt water, and archaebacteria are a group of bacteria found in high heat, high salt content locations such as sewage treatment plants and are able to tolerate many extreme habitats. E. coli is classified as what type of bacteria? A. Gram positive rod. B. Gram negative rod. C. Gram negative cocci. D. Gram positive cocci. The answer is B. Gram negative rod. E. coli is a gram negative rod. It's a lactose-fermenting bacteria commonly implicated in urinary tract infections and less frequently in gastroenteritis. Which of the following describes the morphology and features of Staphylococcus species? A. Gram-positive cocci, catalase-positive. B. Gram-negative rods, catalase-negative. C. Gram-positive rods, catalase-negative. D. Gram negative cocci, catalase positive. The answer is A. Gram positive cocci, catalase positive. Staphylococcus species are gram positive, catalase positive cocci. The most famous member of this bacterial species, Staphylococcus aureus is commonly implicated in skin infections, upper respiratory infections, and gastroenteritis, food poisoning. Which of the following bacteria is classified as gram-positive cocci? A. Chlamydia trachomatis. B. Rickettsia browaschii. C. Nsria meninitis. D. Staphylococcus aureus. The answer is D. Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus aureus are gram-positive cocci. Chlamydia trachomatis and Rickettsia prowaschii are both classified as gram-negative rods and Nsria meninitis are gram-negative cocci. All of the following are gram-positive bacteria except ASH. A. Staphylococcus. B. Streptococcus. C. Salmonella. D. Clostridium.
The answer is C. Salmonella. All of the bacteria listed are gram-positive except Salmonella, which is a gram-negative facultative rod. A sputum culture from a patient is described as gram-positive cocci. What is the significance of the gram stain? A. The bacteria has no peptidoglycan cell wall. B. The bacteria has a thick chitin cell wall. C. The bacteria has no chitin cell wall. D. The bacteria has a thick peptidoglycan cell wall. E. The bacteria is actively multiplying. The answer is D. The bacteria has a thick peptidoglycan cell wall. The gram stain is a test used to help classify bacteria based on the presence of peptidoglycan in the cell wall. Bacteria with a thick peptidoglycan cell wall will stain dark purple, and are termed gram-positive. On the other hand, if there is no peptidoglycan cell wall, or a very thin one, it will show up as pink. This is termed gram-negative. This distinction is particularly important when prescribing classes of antibiotics, as the cell wall is commonly targeted by antibiotics. Which of the following patients are most at risk for contracting a nosocomial infection? A. A 75-year-old woman receiving chemotherapy for colon cancer. B. A 10-year-old patient admitted for abdominal pain. C. A 60-year-old admitted with pancreatitis. D. A 22-year-old mother in her third trimester. E. A 55-year-old man with an asthma exacerbation. The answer is A. A 75-year-old woman receiving chemotherapy for colon cancer. A nosocomial infection is an infection that is transmitted from one person to another inside the hospital or other healthcare facility. It is often a result of healthcare workers failing to perform adequate hand hygiene and standard precautions. Those most at risk for infection are those who are immunocompromised, chemotherapy patients, those with breaks in skin integrity, wounds, and those with invasive devices, peclines, urinary catheters, invasive monitoring. Which of the following regarding pathogenic bacteria is false? A. Some bacteria have cell walls. B. Pathogenic bacteria may reproduce inside a host or human's own cells. C. Pathogenic bacteria may secrete toxins that make the host ill. D. Pathogenic bacteria contain a protein envelope called a capsid. E. Many bacteria do not have flagella. The answer is D. Pathogenic bacteria contain a protein envelope called a capsid. A pathogenic bacteria is a disease-causing bacteria. They may secrete toxins to make a host ill or reproduce inside the host's own cells. Bacteria may have cell walls, although some do not. Similarly, some bacteria may have flagella and others do not. It is typical for viruses to have a capsid, protein coat. Some viruses such as the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, have envelopes, which makes it difficult for the immune system to detect and destroy them. Clostridium difficile is difficult to prevent in a hospital setting due to what feature? A. Difficult to culture. B. Route of transmission. C. Intospore formation. D. Poor sanitation management. The answer is C. Intospore formation. C. Difficile is an endospore-forming bacteria. While in the endospore, or dormant, stage, C. 
Difficile spores are highly resistant to disinfectants. This renders sterilization procedures less effective in a hospital setting and leads to a higher frequency of infection. While route of transmission and hospital sanitation are important factors in C. Difficile transmission, it is their antispore formation that gives these bacteria a level of resistance above other fecal oral species present in a hospital setting. Antibiotics work exclusively against ASH. A. Viruses only. B. Fungi only. C. Bacteria only. D. Viruses and bacteria. The answer is C. Bacteria only. Antibiotics work exclusively against bacteria. They are not effective against fungal infections, and they are not effective against viruses such as influenza, rotavirus, or rhinovirus, the most frequent cause of the common cold. Conjugation between bacteria is carried out via what structure? A. Cilia. B. Capsule. C. Flagella. D. Pili. The answer is D. Pili. Pili are short, hair-like structures on the surface of some bacteria. Conjugative pili can form a sort of tube between bacterial cells, allowing for the transfer of DNA from one bacteria to another. Flagella are whip-like structures that allows bacteria to move within a fluid medium. Cilia are hair-like structures found primarily on the surface of mammalian cells, but are also found on bacterial cells, where they aid in attachment. A bacterial capsule is a polysaccharide layer outside the cell envelope that does not take part in bacterial conjugation, and may secrete slime which protects the bacteria from the surrounding environment. Which of the following terms describes the form of asexual reproduction in which a single-celled organism divides into two cells of the same size? A. Binary fission B. Conjugation C. Mitosis D. Meiosis The answer is A. Binary fission. The process of asexual reproduction in which a single-celled organism divides into two cells of the same size is called binary fission. This occurs among prokaryotes and is the primary method of reproduction in bacterial species. Mitosis and meiosis are forms of cell division among eukaryotic cells. Conjugation is not a method of bacterial reproduction, rather, it is a method by which joined bacteria may transmit DNA especially genes on plasmids that confer resistance. Which of the following is found in greater quantity in gram-negative bacteria than in gram-positive bacteria? A. Lipopolysaccharide B. Teicoic acid C. Murin D. Peptidoglycan The answer is A. Lipopolysaccharide Gram-negative strains of bacteria possess more lipopolysaccharide than do gram-positive strains. 
This higher proportion of lipopolysaccharide lies on the exterior of gram-negative bacteria's outer membranes of their cell walls. Gram-negative bacteria have significantly less peptidoglycan than do gram-positive strains, which accounts for their observable chromatic differences when using the gram stain technique. Specifically, this thin layer of peptidoglycan in gram-negative bacteria fails to retain crystal violet during gram staining, especially after iodine is added, which acts as a mordant. Subsequent staining with safranin gives gram-negative bacteria a pink or light red color when viewed under a light microscope. Teicoic acid, present in gram-positive bacteria only, functions to increase the rigidity of the cell wall. Murin is another name for peptidoglycan. Which of the following is found in prokaryotes and not eukaryotes? A. Plasmids. B. Mitochondria. C. Ribosomes. D. Flagella. Plasmids are found only in prokaryotes. In bacteria, they are transferred either via conjugation, transduction, or transformation. Both prokaryotes and eukaryotes contain ribosomes, however the subunits of eukaryotes are smaller, have a lower sedimentation rate. Both can contain flagella, but they differ in complexity and type of motion. Only eukaryotes contain mitochondria, which is the site of the Krebs cycle, beta oxidation of fatty acids, and electron transport. A bacterium has a generation time of 25 minutes. Starting with a single cell, how many cells are present in 200 minutes? A. 256. B. 8. C. 108. D. 16. The answer is A. 256. This question involves the concept of generation time, which is the time it takes one colony to double. Therefore, there will be two cells in 25 minutes, four cells in 50 minutes, eight cells in 75 minutes, 16 in 100 minutes, 32 cells in 125 minutes, 64 cells in 150 minutes, 128 cells in 175 minutes and 256 cells in 200 minutes. Note that it is very rare for a single bacterium to be isolated, thus a bacterial colony grows exponentially over a short period of time. Note that 200 minutes represents a generation times. The number of bacteria, when starting with a single cell, can be calculated as 2 and where n is the number of generation, doubling, times. Here, we have 28 equals 256. Which sterilization method is best for destroying endospores? A. Oven. B. Refrigeration. C. Autoclave. D. Pasteurization. The answer is C. Autoclave. Students should possess the knowledge that the Clostridium genus produces endospores. This fact makes them extremely virulent. Heating alone will not kill the spores. Only heat, accompanied by pressure, will penetrate spores. This method is obtained either by an autoclave or pressure cooker. A synthetic protein is created inside a bacterium from an introduced RNA strand. Which method does the bacterium employ to create the desired protein? A. Translation B. Transcription C. Transduction D. 
Replication. The answer is A. Translation. It requires the understanding that the process of producing protein from RNA, ribonucleic acid, is termed translation. Replication is the process by which DNA is synthesized from DNA. Transcription precedes translation and involves synthesizing RNA transcripts of specific sections of DNA. Transduction is one way bacteria exchange genetic information. Specifically, Transduction involves the transfer of bacterial DNA via bacteriophage. Note that this is one way that a group of bacteria can become resistant to antibiotics without ever having been exposed to the antibiotic to which they are resistant. Pili allow for the movement of genetic material between sister bacteria by a process known as dash, which allows for the passage of A, dash, A, transformation, naked DNA. B. Translation. Protein. C. Transduction. Prophage. D. Conjugation. Plasmid. The answer is D. Conjugation. Plasmid. The question requires the knowledge of pili and that pili are of two types, attachment and conjugation. Conjugation is a way that bacteria become resistant to antibiotics. In this process, a circular piece of deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, plasmid, is exchanged through a conjugation PLS. Transformation is genetic alteration caused by direct uptake of naked genetic material from a bacteria's surroundings. A prophage is a bacteriophage that has inserted itself in the genome or plasmid of its host via the lyogenic cycle is latent. Transduction is the movement of genetic material due to bacteriophage that digest host DNA and accidentally package it inside their own capsids. These phage then go on to infect other bacteria, and insert the newly borrowed DNA into the new host cell's genome, plasmids. Translation is the process in which RNA, ribonucleic acid, is converted to protein. A tuberculosis skin test is given to a patient who is severely immunocompromised with a low CD4 plus cell count. This test is considered positive if it is greater than dash A. 10 cm B. 5 mm C. 1 cm D. 5 cm E. 10 mm The answer is B. 5 mm. The TB skin test has different thresholds for positive values based on the size of induration. In an HIV positive individual, low CD4 plus, immunocompromised, a test is considered positive if it is greater than 5 mm. A positive result takes 24 to 48 hours to reveal itself. The Manta test or Mendel Manta test, also known as the Manta screening test, Tuberculin sensitivity test, PERK test, or PPD test for purified protein derivative, is a tool for screening for tuberculosis, TB, and for tuberculosis diagnosis, a standard dose of 5 tuberculine units, TU-0.1 milliliters, according to the CDC or 2TU of Stin Serum Institute, SSI, tuberculin RT23 in 0.1 milliliters solution, according to the NHS, is injected intradermally between the layers of dermis, and read 48 to 72 hours later. This intradermal injection is termed the Manta technique. A person who has been exposed to the bacteria is expected to mount an immune response in the skin containing the bacterial proteins. The response is a classical example of delayed type hypersensitivity reaction, DTH, a type 4 of hypersensitivities. T cells and myeloid cells are attracted to the site of reaction in the time frame of 1-3 days and generate local inflammation. 
The reaction is read by measuring the diameter of induration, palpable raised, hardened area, across the forearm, perpendicular to the long axis, in millimeters. If there is no induration, the result should be recorded as zero millimeters. Erythema, redness, should not be measured. What is an infectious cause of orchitis? A. Chlamydia. B. Measles. C. Epstein-Barr virus. D. Mumps. The answer is D. Mumps. Mumps is a viral disease caused by the mumps virus, a paramyxovirus. Orchitis due to mumps has decreased significantly due to vaccination, but it is still a significant risk in unvaccinated individuals. Mumps-related orchitis can result in testicular failure later in life. None of the other microbial infections listed have an association with orchitis. Hepatitis C is associated with higher levels of what metabolic disorder? A. Fabry disease. B. Type 2 diabetes. C. Gaucher's disease. D. Wasting syndrome. The answer is B. Type 2 diabetes. Individuals with hepatitis C have a much higher incidence of development of type 2 diabetes. This is thought to be due to increased levels of tumor necrosis factor, TNF-alpha, which leads to insulin resistance. Gaucher's disease is a hereditary disorder of glucosal ceramide accumulation that can affect the liver but is not caused by hepatitis C virus. Wasting syndrome is a general term for individuals who experience unintentional weight loss due to a disease such as cancer. Fabry disease is a rare liposomal storage disorder unrelated to any viral infection. A child appears with a flat pink rash that first appeared on the trunk. Subsequently, the rash migrated to the rest of the body. Which of the following is the most likely cause? A. Smallpox. B. Measles. C. Rubella. D. Chickenpox.
The answer is C. Rubella. Measles is a highly contagious infectious disease caused by measles virus. Measles begins with coplex spot in the mouth. Then the rash first appears on the forehead. Rubella first appears on the trunk, then spreads throughout the body. Chicken pox manifests as fluid-filled vesicles. Smallpox appears as blister-like lesions and this disease has been eradicated for a few decades. Which strain of human papilloma virus, HPV, is associated with the most forms of cancer? A. 16. B. 18. C. 6. D. 11. The answer is A. 16. While HPV-18 is associated with a large percentage of cervical dysplasia alongside HPV-16, HPV-16 is the strain associated with the majority of HPV-related anal cancer, cancer of the throat, tongue cancer, vaginal cancer, vulvar cancer, and penile cancer. Which of the following viruses is responsible for infectious mononucleosis? A. Parvovirus B19. B. Herpes zoster. C. Epstein Barr virus. D. Cytomegalovirus. The answer is C. Epstein Barr virus. Infectious mononucleosis is associated with infection by Epstein Barr virus, a form of human herpes virus. Cytomegalovirus is associated primarily with congenital defects, parvovirus B19 is the cause of fifths disease, also known as slap cheek syndrome. Herpes zoster is the virus responsible for both chicken pox and shingles, Epstein-Barr virus belongs to the family herpes viridae and is the causative agent of infectious mononucleosis, Burkitt's lymphoma, and undifferentiated nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Infectious mononucleosis characteristically produces a marked lymphocytosis involving almost all of the lympho reticular tissues. This leads to hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, lymphadenopathy, and lymphoid hyperplasia of the oronosopharynx. The peripheral blood smear contains atypical lymphocytes of the Downy 2 type. It is generally a self-limiting disease. However, it can cause a severe protracted illness that can at times prove to be fatal. Patients with an unusual immunodefect known as the X-linked lymphoproliferative syndrome frequently have overwhelming EBV primary infections, which can be fatal in the majority of the cases. Zika virus is primarily transmitted via what route? A. Mosquito bite. B. Oral fecal. C. Respiratory droplets. D. Dick bite. The answer is A. Mosquito bite. Zika virus is primarily transmitted via mosquito bite, ETS. However, it can also be transmitted by sexual contact and it can cross the placenta, allowing an infected mother to pass the virus to an unborn child. High fever, cough, runny nose, maculopapular rash, and coplex spots are seen in which of the following viral infections? A. Epstein Barr. B. Mumps. C. Measles. D. Scarlet fever.
The answer is C. Measles. Coplex spots are oral lesions seen early on in infection with the measles virus. These spots are only present in a minority of cases, though. Other common symptoms of measles include high fever, often over 104 degrees Fahrenheit, cough, runny nose, and a maculopapular rash which begins at the hairline and spreads down to the trunk and extremities. The most noticeable symptom in mumps infection is enlargement of the parotid glands, while Epstein Barr infection can result in fatigue, lymphadenopathy, and hepatospelinomegaly. Scarlet fever is not a viral infection, but rather is caused by the bacteria Streptococcus pyogenes. How is the measles virus primarily spread? A. Contaminated blood. B. Insect vectors. C. Fecal laurel. D. Respiratory droplets. The answer is D. Respiratory droplets. The measles virus is one of the most highly contagious of all childhood exanthems. It is spread primarily by respiratory droplets, or by touching a surface that has been in contact with an infected individual's saliva or mucus. It is not spread in feces, nor is it blood or vector-borne. Which of the following is an infection of the finger, toe, or nail cuticle with the herpes simplex virus? A. Infectious panicea. B. Herpanina. C. Herpetic panicea. D. Herpetic whitlow. The answer is D. Herpetic whitlow. An infection of the finger, toe, or cuticle with the herpes simplex virus is known as a herpetic whitlow. This infection causes painful swelling and erythema at the site of contact and is often caused by the finger coming into contact with a cold sore, oral herpes simplex lesion. It is more common in individuals who are frequently in contact with oral mucosa, such as dentists and dental hygienists, nurses, and in individuals who bite their nails or suck their fingers or thumb. Which of the following is the most common cause of infectious neonatal hearing loss? A. Cytomegalovirus. B. Measles. C. Epstein-Barr virus. D. Chlamydia. The answer is A. Cytomegalovirus. The most common cause of infectious hearing loss in neonates is cytomegalovirus, CMV, also known as human herpes virus 5. While this disease rarely causes symptoms in adults, it can cause significant harm to a fetus. One of the primary fetal consequences of CMV infection in pregnancy is hearing loss. Other issues can include vision loss, developmental delays, and seizures. A father brings in his seven-year-old son for bumps all over his arms and trunk. On examination, the nurse sees 20-30 small, 1 to 5 millimeters, flesh-colored, dome-shaped papules. They are pearly and several have dimpled centers. They are not itchy, crusting, or painful. These lesions are most likely which of the following? A. Common warts. B. Chicken pox. C. 
molluscum contagiosum. D. Herpes simplex. The answer is C. Molluscum contagiosum. The lesions described are most likely molluscum contagiosum, caused by the molluscum contagiosum virus. Molluscum contagiosum generally present as 1 to 5 mm papules that are flesh colored and dome shaped. The dimpled center may or may not be visible on papules, though this is considered pathognomonic for the virus. Common warts may present with a similar appearance, but will not generally present in such high numbers and don't have a dimpled appearance. Chicken pox lesions will generally be red and weeping or crusting, and herpes simplex lesions are not commonly seen outside of the oral mucosa, genital area, or fingers. Which of the following viruses is the most common cause of febrile seizures? A. Parvovirus B19. B. Measles virus. C. Human herpes virus 6, HHV6. D. Epstein Barr virus. The answer is C. Human herpes virus 6, HHV6. The majority of febrile seizures are caused by viral infections, with the most common virus involved being human herpes virus 6, or HHV6. What is the incubation period for infectious mononucleosis? A. 7 to 14 days. B. 14 to 28 days. C. 2 to 3 days. D. 30 to 50 days. The answer is D. 30 to 50 days. Infectious mononucleosis, a condition caused by Epstein-Barr virus, has a very long incubation period. Onset of the disease is typically 30 to 50 days after the time of initial infection. Epstein-Barr virus belongs to the family Herpesviridae and is the causative agent of infectious mononucleosis, Burkitt's lymphoma, and undifferentiated nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Infectious mononucleosis characteristically produces a marked lymphocytosis involving almost all of the lymphoreticular tissues. This leads to hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, lymphadenopathy, and lymphoid hyperplasia of the oronus oropharynx. The peripheral blood smear contains atypical lymphocytes of the Downy 2 type. It is generally a self-limiting disease, however, it can cause a severe protracted illness that can at times prove to be fatal. Patients with an unusual immunodefect known as the X-linked lymphoproliferative syndrome frequently have overwhelming EBV primary infections, which can be fatal in the majority of the cases. Bell's palsy is associated with a reactivation of which of the following viral infections? A. Herpes simplex 1. B. Cytomegalovirus. C. Vricella zoster. D. Rotavirus. The answer is A. Herpes simplex 1. Bell's palsy is associated with reactivation of herpes simplex 1, 
a human herpes virus that can exist in latent form in the dorsal root ganglia of nerves in the head and neck. Reactivation of the virus causes the temporary unilateral facial paralysis associated with Bell's palsy.